Corrections in Sage Payroll We all make mistakes from time to time, and that's why Corrections Mode allows for easy updates to completed pay runs, giving you complete peace of mind. You may need to make a change to a pay run after completing it. This could be because you've forgotten to add something such as a bonus or an overtime payment. Or you may need to add or amend an employee absence you weren't aware of before completing the pay run. Confidently make corrections by editing pay and absences separately, ensuring total accuracy. Before editing a pay run, we recommend you print or save reports. We'd recommend you save all payslips for the period you're correcting. If a P32 is available, we recommend you print or save this report, the detailed report. If you would like to run extra reports before making amendments, more reports can be found in the reporting menu. Let's correct a completed pay run. First, click pay runs. Then from the list of completed pay runs, choose the one you'd like to amend. In the Edit Pay Run drop-down, you have two options, Edit Absences and Edit Pay. Use the Edit Absences option to edit a statutory absence only. For example, to change incorrect absence dates for statutory sick leave. Use the Edit Pay option to amend pay values, such as payment or deduction values. Please note, if a new employee wasn't included on the pay run you've completed, you can't add them to the pay run in corrections mode. To correct this pay run, click Edit Pay. When changes are made to a completed pay run, this is likely to affect the employee's net pay. This means if the employee has already received their pay for this period, they will have been overpaid or underpaid. To confirm you understand the impact of editing a pay run, select the checkbox and then click Confirm. The pay run you are editing is confirmed here. Select the relevant employee from the left and make the required corrections. In this case, we'll add a missing overtime payment to this employee. The changes you make may also change the statutory deductions. Adding the overtime payment changed the net pay due to this employee. Repeat the process for all employees who require a correction. Please note, any errors will appear here. Corrections can't be saved if there's an error. Make the necessary amendments to fix the error before trying to save the corrections. The amendments aren't immediate and aren't saved until you click Save Corrections. If you click Cancel, your changes will not be saved. To save your changes and confirm the corrections, click Save Corrections. A message will appear before the changes are saved. Here you can see how many employees you've corrected and choose how to deal with a net pay difference. Your choices are Show the difference in the next pay run and Do not show the difference in the next pay run. If you choose to show the difference in the next pay run, a correction payment or deduction appears on their payslip, showing the amount they're due or the amount they owe. This way, everything is handled within Sage Payroll. If you choose to handle the net pay difference outside of payroll, a correction on their subsequent pay run is not necessary. This is because the monetary values will be handled by you outside of the payroll. In this example, we will choose to show the differences in the next pay run, as we would like payroll to correct each employee's net pay automatically for us. By correcting a pay run, you are changing the values you originally sent within the full payment submission. Therefore, an FPS adjustment will be automatically sent to HMRC. This contains the corrected payroll values. Once you're happy, and want to finalize the correction and submit the adjustment, click Confirm. The FPS adjustment appears in completed pay runs. The payslips will now show the corrected values. 
confirmation of your correction appears here. If there's been a problem or your changes weren't saved, you'll see this here too. This information is also available in the Summary tab. We'll now look at editing absences. First, click Pay Runs from the menu at the top. Then click the Pay Run you'd like to amend. Remember to print your reports before editing your Pay Run. In the Edit Pay Run drop-down choose Edit Absences. To confirm you understand the impact of editing a Pay Run, select the checkbox and then click Confirm. The Pay Run you are editing is confirmed here and you're automatically directed to the Absences page. Unlike editing the Pay, when editing an absence, your changes are saved immediately and the corrected net pay value will appear on the next pay run. Therefore, we'd suggest making a note of current absence dates before making any amendments. Select the relevant employee and make the necessary amendments to their absence. When you're finished editing absences, click Close. The payslips will now show the corrected values. You'll see confirmation of your correction here. If there's been a problem or your changes weren't saved, you'll see this here too. This information is also available in the Summary tab. If you are correcting values in a previous tax year, you must submit a supplementary FPS. A supplementary FPS will also be required if you amend absences in the last completed pay run of a tax year. This is because the next FPS is in a new tax year and will not automatically send the amendments to HMRC. To access further help, click Help at the top of your payroll. Here you can browse or use the search box to find specific guidance. For example, you could search for corrections, FPS adjustment or supplementary FPS. You have now learned how to correct a completed pay run in Sage Payroll.